Hello girls and boys, how's it going? So, something just dropped last night which is very very interesting, super exciting and I wanted to record this video very quickly and ship it out. So Atlassian, the makers of Jira, Confluence, all of these guys, they have decided that they will buy the browser company for a 610 million all cash out deal. This was just announced over I think about 10, 12 hours back and I wanted to make a quick video on this. Now this video has come as a bit of a shock to the entire industry because nobody really saw this coming. So in this video, we will dissect this news and break it down. So we'll start with what is the browser company? What the heck is an agentic browser? We'll talk about my perspective on why Atlassian decided to buy the browser company. What does this mean? If you are a DevOps engineer, a cloud engineer, um, a platform engineer, even a developer, what the heck does this mean for you? And what does this tell us about the future? So let's get in right away. So who's the browser company? The browser company of New York, as it's officially called, was founded in 2019 by two folks called John Josh Miller and Harsh Agarwal. And the company's initial mission was to completely reimagine the internet browser. Even though Arc is built on top of Chromium, they have thought through and they said, let us completely redesign how basically the entire browsing experience, if you will. And they started off with one flagship product called the ARC, A-R-C, ARC browser. And the way they defined it, they called it the operating system for the web. Now, this company targeted a lot of cool engineers from Google, Tesla, Medium to work with ARC. I've personally been an ARC user for a while. It's a very slick UI. It's blazingly fast and it has some really cool features. You should go try it out if you haven't tried it. It's amazing. Now in 2025, the browser company announced a pivot. They said they will be retiring Arc and they announced Dia, D-I-A, Dia, an AI first browser. Now while Dia is still in wait mode, it has a bunch of interesting features as described in their website. Let's go have a look. Okay, so let's look at Dia, the agentic browser. If you open that, it can basically interact with your tabs. Things like chat with your tabs, you can write with your tabs. Uh, you can also learn anything which is in the tab. It gets the context. You can even plan with your tabs. I'll show you some examples. Let's go into Dia and then I'll talk about those. All right, so this is within the browser Dia. And you can see you can ask it a question about a video playing in a tab and then it'll give it uh, the steps. So that's one. You can highlight a piece of text and then ask it to explain like I am five and it'll dumb it down and explain it to you. Uh, another cool use case, a picture of a document and ask it to summarize it. So these are some very cool use cases of Dia. Okay, so this is another use case. I have three tabs open. You can ask all of these tabs and compare these Airbnbs in one chart. So it can get the context of multiple tabs and then you can operate and ask questions on that. Super cool. So let's talk about what is an agentic browser now. So very simply, it is a set of AI agents which are embedded within the browser or you can give the browser certain commands, ask it to do certain things and automatically it will spin up AI agents to do that activity for you and then show you the result. So this Dia also has a primitive AI mode. They call it Dia skills. Let me show that to you and then let's go on to some other things as well. Okay, so this is about Dia skills. You can see and these are, let's say this one click fact checker. These are agents which they build and you can invoke it by saying slash fact checker. So it gets the context on the screen and does a fact check using LLMs. So that's how the you call it. And then this is basically the prompt which runs behind all of this. There are other some basic agents which we have created. So things like I found this summarize unresolved GitHub PR into actionable checklist. So that was very cool. 
Now let's look at some other agenting browser. There's this fellow fellow thing. There is browser OS, browser use, a bunch of them. So this fellow.ai, that's the world first agentic browser. Similar thing, you can ask it browser OS also open source completely. You can try it out and this is browser use. So several other agentic AI browsers coming up out there. Okay, so now let's come to the big question. Why the heck did Atlassian buy the browser company? Now, one of the most obvious answers is Atlassian is trying to get into the browser war because every other company is creating their own browser. Atlassian also wants to have a piece of that pie. But I personally think if you look a little deeper, there is more to this. Atlassian probably doesn't want to get into the browser war. It is getting to look at something much bigger than that. Let me go to the notepad and explain you certain things, draw things out for you here. So let's look at how the Atlassian system is spread. There is Bitbucket, which houses code repositories. Then there is our friend Jira, which has the entire agile system of creating backlog, sprint, blah, 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 you know, all of that. And then there is Confluence, which houses the documents. And then there is Jira Service Manager, which is for the ticketing system. This is some of the top products and traditionally DevOps engineers integrate all of this. Now imagine a layer on top of this, which is the agentic AI layer. And this layer sits on top of all Atlassian products and connects them. That's one part. Now imagine all of these getting into the browser and you having the ability to chat with it. What that means is once you ask, uh, let's change the pen color to make things more interesting here. Yeah. fancy Let's, let's have some fun. So let's say you ask it a question and then what this chat window does it, it has access to Jira service tickets, confluence, all of that. And it can give you the responses. I think that is what Atlassian is going after. All right. So if you're liking this video so far, I've done, tried to make it a little different. We have recorded and now we have to stitch all of them together. If you like this kind of an experimental format, just say awesome in the comments and I will understand what you're saying. So now let's get to the overall slightly higher picture. What does all of this mean for a DevOps engineer, a cloud engineer, a platform engineer, even if you're a developer, what the heck does this mean for you? Number one, start thinking instead of individual tools, start thinking in a context window. Imagine your pipeline logs, your GitHub PRs, your Jira stories, all showing up in one context window when you're troubleshooting something. Number two, it's an increased automation surface. What do I mean? Traditionally, automation is within the pipeline, within Jira, within Jira Service Manager. Now, when everything is in one context, you have a much broader surface area to automate. Start thinking about those kind of things a little bit. Then, Developer Portal 2.0. I think if you think about the portals of the world, the back bases of the world, they are still third party software, which bring all of these things together into a single interface. Atlassian might be on to releasing their own developer portal as an extension of this browser thingy. And then finally, if you're a developer, it means less fatigue on the tools. Today, you have multiple windows open, one with Jira, one with that, um, Confluence, Imagine all of this popping into one window and that being your entire interface actually through the entire SDLC itself. So last segment, what does the future look like? Now, if I were to take 10 steps back and sit back and imagine what will happen in the next one year, I would expect other enterprise SaaS companies to make smaller acquisitions on browser AI company. Things like uh, the service now, the Salesforce, the Oracles, the SAPs of the world, they will also make certain acquisitions because now that Atlassian has shown the way, there could be others who would do similar things. So if you have an idea in the agentic AI space, 
if you are creating a browser in the agentic ai space i think life can suddenly get very interesting for you i hope this video made sense um let's meet again in the next one cheers bye